So, over the years, maize has maintained its status as Kenya's staple food. But in the recent years, this dominance has been threatened by contamination of a deadly fungi that causes aflatoxins that saw 317 people die of aflatoxin poisoning in Kenya in 2004. But now, there seems to be hope in the fight against this deadly fungi with the introduction of the first aflatoxin testing kit that will ensure early detection of the aflatoxin. On this week's Next Frontier, Philip Keitani takes us through the testing process. Take a look. The 2004 outbreak of acute aflatoxin poisoning in Kenya was one of the most severe episodes of human poisoning in history. A total of 317 cases were reported by 20th July 2004, with 39% of the people having ingested the contaminated maize, suffering fatalities. Some of the farmers are even adding what the to increase the weight for commercial purposes. Then at the end of the day, maybe the maize will get contaminated, then you dry it, then you laugh. Maybe something like around even 6, 10 percent, you feel you are safe. But the maize is already contaminated. Aflatoxins contaminate approximately 25 percent of agricultural products worldwide. Mycotoxins, the fungi responsible for aflatoxin poisoning, occur when commodities stored at high moisture content and warm temperatures. The mycotoxins bring about fatal diseases like cancer and can have a chronic effects including weight loss, immunosuppression and cancer. The Minister of Agriculture should also play a very key role, particularly so the extension officers in trying to I mean, uh, spread the informa this information to the farmers. But lives and grains will now be saved thanks to the introduction of the first aflatoxin testing kit the Helica Biosystem Kit is designed to quickly extract and screen corn or wheat for the presence of total aflatoxin. People who deal a lot of uh, cereals, before they take maybe large shipments of grain from different, supply, different people and resupply it to the market, they can test for themselves, basically using maybe just a qualitative test. The kit includes a specific antibody solution that reacts with the presence of aflatoxin. We then determine the specific level of contamination in the range of zero parts per billion to 100 parts per billion. It's not so difficult to, for somebody who has got basic knowledge, at least up to form 4, we can be able to, to train and then we'll be able to catch up. The kit could not have come at a better time for the country. Kenya is one of the world's hotspots for aflatoxin, with what is believed to be the highest incident of acute toxicity ever documented. Once you know, once you buy the kits from the shops, you trust safe, so you don't test it. But these guys produce them, so these people, before they even take raw materials from farmers, produce the feeds. They need to know the exact concentration of toxins in their raw material because from then we get the product uh, which was the we can do and we can't know. With the introduction of this cheap and rapid aflatoxin detection kit into the country, even ordinary Kenyans can now do simple aflatoxin testing to see if the flour they've bought from the supermarket is safe for human consumption. Philip Keitan for the next frontier.